Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at two smartphones that are in the budget price point that were actually released in late 2021. And both of these devices are pretty solid. Um, on the left, we have the Blue G91S. And on my right, we have the Blue G51 Plus. But if it's your very first time to the channel, I truly appreciate you for coming through. If you're brand new to the channel, do me a huge favor, big favor to the channel. Make sure you hit the like button and subscribe and get notified for more videos just like this. But if you're already a part of the crew, so... Alright guys, so on the left we have the Blue J51S and this is a 6.8 inch 1080 by 2460 um, when it comes to the display. So it's going to be a really solid, large display, 6.8 inches. It has this really nice design on the back of here which looks really nice when you actually tilt it in the light. Triple camera setup on the rear. We also do get a 48 megapixel 4 gigabytes of RAM coupled with a 6000 milliamp hour battery. And on the left hand side, you can see when it comes to the build, we do have a SD card slot for expansion as well, which is definitely pretty solid. And we also, we are gonna get the expansion of the SD card right here. So you can pull that out and you do get the dual SIM on this guy. So you, you do get two slots for each micro SD, uh, actually two SIMs for, your, for this dude. And then we also do have and a slot here for your, um, you know, uh, SIM card. So that's definitely pretty cool that you do get dual SIM card slots as well as an SD card slot on here as well. But when it comes to the left side, you're going to see we do get your power button right here down below and the volume rocker right above it. Um, headphone jack on the bottom, microphone type C and speaker as well as a microphone up top as well. Now, when it comes to this guy here, we do get a removable back, which um, the only thing that I don't like about it is that I didn't see any batteries available on the website that you could replace this guy out with. But um, so it's not really meant to be replaceable. So that's the one thing that I didn't like. But we, we, you can see right here that we do have a slot here for your SIM card and one more for another sim card right here and you, you do get a, a sd card slot on this guy you know at, for ex extra expansion as well now as far as the build quality we do get this nice texture on the back it kind of has a nice um finish to it kind of feels really nice in the hand because it has like a like a grippy kind of feel to it. it definitely feels pretty solid but it makes a sound when you move your hand across it so it definitely feels pretty cool because it has a little bit of grip to it and a little bit of texture so i definitely like that part about it on the bottom we do get a micro usb so i wasn't really thrilled about that um microphone on the bottom speaker as well down below your power button off to the right and your headphone jack right above it i mean your my, my headphone jack your volume rocker right above it above that we do get your headphone jack up top but there's not going to be dual mics on this guy so just gonna be one on the bottom. So I just wanna throw that out there. And then, you know, that's pretty much it when it comes to the build quality, but we're gonna get into the cameras. We're also gonna get into the performance. So make sure you guys stay locked into the end of the video. And if you're still here, make sure you leave in the comment section, just say I'm still here. But as far as the Blue G51 Plus on the right, it's gonna have a 6.5 inch display, 720 by 1600 compared to the 1080 by 2460, 6.8 inch display. 48 megapixel when it comes to the G50 um, G91s and a um, you know 13 megapixel on the G51 plus. So I just wanted to mention that. And then we also do get three gigabytes of RAM on the G51 plus and four gigabytes of RAM on the G91s right here on the on the left and a 4,000 milliamp hour battery on the G51 plus and a 6,000 milliamp hour battery on the G5091S. Uh, now what I do like about both of these smartphones is that they are both running on Android 11, which is kind of cool. And so they're gonna be pretty much, you know, when, you know, a lot of people don't like Android 12, right? So it's not really crazy if this one doesn't get Android 12 because a lot of people don't even like that, right? 
but we do get Bluetooth 5.0 on the Blue, just, uh, Blue G91S and Bluetooth 4.1 on the G51 Plus. So I just kind of wanted to throw that out there. Um, you know, we do get as far as the uh, storage as well. It's going to be a slightly larger on the G50 um, G91S because we're going to be getting the uh, the larger storage on that guy. It's going to be um, it's going to have a 6,000 milliamp hour battery, battery, 18 watts for the fast charging. I also see that we do actually have a software update right here, which is kind of cool. So, you know, it's going to be 229 when it comes to the price point and 110 for the G51 Plus. So I just wanted to kind of differentiate that as well. All right, so what I did was I cleared out all the apps on the Blue G91S. And now all the apps are cleared out here on the Blue G51 Plus. So what I kind of want to do is just go through some of the apps. Uh, let's do uh, let's do the camera real quick. One, two, three. And it, that one uh, gave it to the G51 Plus. It opened the camera quicker. Um, I was able to see my face quicker. Let's open up Google. And that was the G51. That was the G91S on the right. The Play Store, it's right here. One, two, three. Wow, that was really close. I think that was the G51 Plus, but just by like a hair. Let's do, um, let's do Instagram. It's all the way at the, at the top. Let me see. One, two, three. I don't know. That was like dead close. That was extremely close. But as you can see, it's much more clearer when it comes to the browsing experience. When you look at the G50, the G91S on the right, it's going to have a lot of clearer videos. So the videos are just going to be sharper. The pictures will be perfectly fine. But when it comes to like comparing the pictures, the video quality, you're going to notice a little bit of uh, haziness on the video quality of the Blue G51 Plus. So I just wanted to mention that only happens when I'm looking at um, Instagram. It doesn't happen with any other video app. So let's just do YouTube, one, two, three. And that was the Blue G91S. And you can try to you kind of see the scrolling speeds on both. They both look really good when it comes to the scrolling speeds. So right now let's just do the fingerprint speed. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. So visually a lot quicker. I just double tapped on the power button and got to the camera. Just looks quicker on the Blue G91S on this one. When it comes to the viewing angles, you can see that the uh, G91S looks a little bit more brighter, but let's just turn the brightness all the way up on both of these guys. All right, now the brightness is all the way up, and you can see it's uh, just a slightly bit brighter when you put it on the table on the G91S. So 1080 panel is a little bit more brighter when it comes to colors, but when you lift them up, let's just hit the video real quick. They're both at full brightness, and the G91S is on the top. And let's see if we can expand it on both. A little bit more, more has a little bit more clarity and a better color uh, temperature when it comes to the G91S. Now let's check out the camera features and then we're gonna check out the performance. But let's go to the cameras and open those up. And let's take a shot with the G51 Plus first. And then let's take a shot right now with the G91S right now. Okay, cool. And let me know which one took the better photo. They both look really good in my opinion with a lot of detail on there. So that's definitely pretty cool. Plus, oh no, that's just the way it looks. All right, cool. So.
a lot more detail on the blue G91S. So it's just the better um, detail when it comes to the cameras and better screen quality as well on the Blue G91S. So when it comes to the Blue G91S, we are getting an octa-core clocked in at 2.0 gigahertz Cortex A75. And um, this thing does have a Mali G52 as well. It does have really high graphics on here. When you go into settings, you can see that we have ultra graphics and smooth. So that's definitely pretty cool. Because uh, you're going to be able to gain really high graphics on here, really smooth frame rates as well, even though it's only 60 hertz. It still has a nice feel in the hand overall. Uh, definitely can get first blood on that on this guy and smooth. So it's not as the extreme that we got on the, uh, you know what I'm saying, the uh, G91S. So just want to mention that. But let's just test out the performance on here. And we are getting a Unosoc SC9863A, which is equivalent to like a Snapdragon 429, right? But this thing will have 3 gigabytes of RAM coupled with uh, 64 gigabytes of internal storage. But just keep in mind you're getting that 48 megapixel with the five megapixel ultra wide angle on the Blue G91S and the two megapixel depth sensor. Whereas on the Blue G51 Plus, you're gonna just get the 13 megapixel with the macro and depth Let's sensor go. at 0.3. So I just wanna mention that. So when it comes to the gaming on this guy, it's not gonna be as intensive when it comes to the graphics as the Blue G91S is, but it still will. Um, it'll be decent like right there. It did kind of lag at the very last second. So I wasn't able to get the first blood But I was able to avenge my death um, right there. So it, that was a good thing But overall let me know which device you think is better when it comes to the value I definitely like both of these things when it comes to the overall price point because you know, I'm a huge fan of budget technology and I definitely think both of these devices do hold up pretty well. Although if you want better cameras, then the Blue G91S is going to be a better choice when it comes to the cameras. But, you know, I'm saying you're definitely going to get some really good performance as well as the battery life with the 6000 milliamp hour battery on the Blue G91S as well. So definitely good, great performance, great battery, you know, really fast fingerprint sensor. Um, the only thing it's really missing is like uh, like a 90 hertz panel, but it has that nice punch hole display. Uh, fingerprint is pretty decent on both of these guys. I like the updated punch hole cutout on the front of the Blue G91S on this thing. It just looks really solid. And you can change the wallpapers, obviously. It's going to have just the regular um, blue wallpapers, right? So you can go down and you can go to this these guys and they all kind of look similar color schemes just different pattern right so you can set like a lighter pattern or you can download one from like google but you can see the punch hole a little bit better right here but you know obviously the display is going to be a lot better on the blue g91s but let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section i want to get right back with you i'm going to answer all your questions and i'm going to show up in the next video so make sure you hit the bell icon and subscribe and get notified for more videos just like this because I'm going to keep coming through with more videos just for you. So make sure you stay locked in. And um, I'll check you guys later. I'll get right back with you. Later group. Peace.